Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my great, awesome YouTube in which I talk about common sense from a Gen X perspective, okay? So, these videos are not pertaining to 80% of you, so if there's any negative energy you're getting, that's the spirit telling you, you shouldn't listen to this motherfucker. He's actually crazy, and he got too much knowledge to tell for you. He's not arrogant like Andrew Tate, and he's far more wiser than Kevin Samuels. Who says that, you may say? Okay. Uh, what kind of arrogance is that? Because I'm the one who brought him up, man. Rest in peace, his soul. I just wish he didn't disconnect from me like he did. He was kind of rude, but he was okay. But, of course, in the meantime, Andrew Tate is arrested and, and, and Kevin Samuels is in this grave. Okay? I tried to protect him, but then he wouldn't, you know, he, we disconnected. But anyway, this is a disconnect with all beta alpha males, okay? And beta males with me, okay? If you didn't have an alpha father, I talk tough love. I'm sorry. Okay, that's to, that's, that's to who I am. I am a disciplinary. A lot of guys out there want to be an alpha so bad or a sigma. But can, they can never be an indigo like myself. I don't hang with nobody. I don't have sins in my past. All right? How many guys can say that? Damn. But anyway, the message to this madness, uh, this video, is the truth. The ultimate truth. Because I actually have videos to back up what I'm saying. Right? Look into my face. You think I'm joking around? Check out my credentials down below. Get in touch with me through my Facebook. And then we shall talk from there. I don't like to be out there in the square, okay, like everybody else want to get the million subscribers. I'm not interested in that. I'm not ambitious. I know myself. I live free or die trying, but not trying to take advantage of the system or anything else. I use a certain type of science, uh, dark psychology, you want to say, or a type of magic that you never heard of before. But anyway, let's get on with the topic for today. Today's topic will be, like I said before, I always say my intro. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm like, and welcome, welcome to my page, my, page, my page about common sense, but I try to keep it down and nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, something very, 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 very important and not important to liberals, libertards, people believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like AWAS, people like DMT. That's like 80% of you. If you're a stick in the mud, you're a sensitive, you're NPC, you're EDB, emotional douchebag, um, please just get out of here. You're not my type of people to be watching me. You will hate my guts. Trust me, I'm a vampire. I will drain your energy because you're ignorant. Because of your insubordinations. Okay. Alright. This video is going to be for you guys. And also for you women. As a matter of fact, this is off the top of my head. I've been on radio talk shows. I got my own streams. I teach people all sorts of crazy shit and international. I um, that's, just don't focus on America here. I know it's the greatest country and great diversity and everything else, but... I do a variety of different things, okay? This video is about um, how people treat you in other countries that are poor. Fact number one, <clears throat> most poor people of the opposite sex in their own country don't date one another because they're broke. Alright, how do I know this? Because I interviewed lots of women in Ethiopia and I got videos to prove it. I tell, talk to women all the time. They tell me everything. And I don't even have to have sex with them. I just got to get a chance to know them. They think I'm going to give them a whole bunch of money, but they got to know more thorough English in order to keep in touch with me. I'm a very hard person to deal with. I don't have sins. And what does that mean? Okay. Do you guys even know what a sin is? No, you don't. But anyway, let me see. When you go overseas and you're a guy or a passport guys, and you don't follow none of my instructions because I it's not taught in anywhere else. You just go over there because you saw one of my, one of you, one of you older folks saw my video. So you think you can just go over there without no other instruction. So you go over there, you think, and everything is going to be hanky danky. You're going to find a wife and then you're going to be noble and you're going to have a family. No, it's not that easy. You're wasting your money and your time. You literally got to talk to me. That's the key. I already know. I already got a, I got a few patrons. I got, it's a limited amount of space. I can only talk to so many people. For my empathy. My empathy is too great. I feel for you guys more than you women and everything in between. Okay. When you women go over there, you know you can uh, buy up. Because you won't hear it on the news nowhere where a lot of women is traveling. Because they don't really need to travel. Okay. Unless they're overweight or something. Or they have some kind of shrewd problem psychologically. Or a psychological problem. You know. It's just how it is. I don't see women over going expats. Women going overseas. 
And if you do, they're usually overweight or some shit, okay? Or they always want a couple boy toys, okay? You know? But men do it too, okay? As a matter of fact, there's more men who do it. And this is why, this is a message for you guys. When you go over there, always assume, and always not just assume, this, this is a fact, as a matter of fact, that the female is not interested in you and your personality. Same thing for you women. Those guys are not interested in you and your personality. All right, we got that clear. You're not exploiting anything. There's a choice that needs to be made. There is porn specifically on this topic. Okay? There's a lot of women who go into there and they prostitute themselves. Let them do that shit. If it's illegal, let it be illegal in their country. You, you know for a fact that why you're going over there. If you're recording, you can record it. You can make even more money. But the problem is, is that if you're exploiting something for a negative reason and it's not an honest reason, then you should be caught like Andrew Tate. Okay. All right. As I said before, I tried. I couldn't get in touch with Andrew Tate. He's too goddamn popular. You know, he only made $70,000 on one fight and he blew it. And he tried to pimp a whole bunch of 304s that really didn't love him. He thinks that those females loved him, baby. You got to listen to people, man. Kevin Samuels was not an ultra alpha, but y'all like y'all guys like to look at him like alpha. He's not an alpha. Alpha is not an image. It's a personality trait. It's like Sigma and Indigo, okay? But you cannot go over there assuming that you're gonna find true love. Because I hey, look at listen to me. I lost my virginity at 38. Okay, guys. Okay, no guy can say that either. Because I told you I have no sense. I don't I don't socialize. I just go on what the pimps told me when I was in Brooklyn, New York, the bed stuff. And some Italians told me what love is. Love is respect, babies. Love is a give and trade type of thing. When you give and trade, that means they want something from you. They need something from you. Just like a lot of women pimp a lot of guys out. And you, you guys think that these women love you, but you don't know the concepts of psychology with women in general. You believe that you flowering and giving her all the romance she needs, and you think she's attracted to you. You're wrong, dog. But you got to watch out my other videos, though, okay? As I said before, when you either sex or anybody who's traveling to go to underdeveloped countries, fact is that you only really care about money. My ex-wife, who I brought from Ethiopia, I actually lived over there for two years, Okay, I lived in Ethiopia for two years, and I got videos to back that shit up. And she was acting pretty good. You better keep them in those countries, guys. You better keep them in... Listen, if you're a woman, keep them in the country. If you're a man, you keep them in the country. You, the only thing to bring back is the children. And maybe you can bring her later on, when the kids are older. Because when the kids are 18, then they'll have the right to bring their um, blood, a biological parent over. Yes, you can. I read the law, yep. Yes, you can. Pairs. You can bring your pairs over, especially if they're a certain age, okay, and then the child is a certain age. They can decide to, to, to you know, sponsor or bring their, 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 their father or their mother over from another country over here, from another mother, the brother from another mother. Yes, you can. But that's the goal, to make babies and to raise your families. Like, I got two daughters. My wife tried to cheat me. I brought her over here. She tried to cheat me. And I said, hey, you know, you do know I have the advantage here, no matter if you go to court or not. I'm not being psychopathic. I'm not using a psychopathy to manipulate or exploit anybody. I'm just saying that there are people who actually do good things and then just they get fucked up. Okay. Because I told you, I have no sense. I tell people that shit all the time. People get, hear the red flags and either go or they try to play a game. Then they start seeing magical shit happen, and then, boom, okay, and then something bad happens to them because they thought they can get away with murder, okay, or try to lie and scheme and some shit. It doesn't work. It doesn't work against the indigo, all right? I tell people all the time I know magic. I say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you spirits is on my side. We're not talking about Jesus Christ or Allah, okay? You can call whatever you want demons or not because of your ignorance. I do not care. But when you go overseas, they really don't care about you. That's why when you ask them, why don't you, okay, date your own people, they'll be like, I haven't found them yet. That's because they don't have enough money or they didn't give them a chance. When I asked my ex-wife about this, yeah, I still know my ex-wife. I still got my kids. I got primary, primary custody and I have child support, guys. The matriarch is good to me, okay, all right? You got to use the power of the Lilith to get what you need. Whatever she's doing, you should do it even more. But you guys don't know how to do that. So, since I made my very point very clear, when you go overseas, woman and, or men or anything, anything in between, the whole purpose of them is trying to get money or trying to be supported. That's it. 
your mindset is not mature enough. Even if, see, my ex-wife had her father, okay, all right? Her father, I recorded them and everything, you know? I thought everything's hanky-danky, da 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 They're always nice to you when you're over there, all right? But if you try to go over there and dictate what you want, it might not happen. But me, I, I just asked. I said, hey, I'm doing polygyny, and I'm interested in virginity. These two things. And if the father's not around, that's a red flag. That's like two red flags right there. She's already almost done. Her life is done. She already had sex. She's completely done. I'm not even, she's not useful to me. Now, you guys can't do that. I know you guys can't do that. And I know you women, some of you women despise me. I hate this guy's guts. But you don't know me personally. You don't know what I went through in my past. When I tell you I have no sense, what does that mean? You don't know what that means. You're a liar. You're a pedophile. Oh. See, this is the names I get called all of the time. I got guys t- talking to me. I'm going to get that motherfucker because their feelings got hurt. And when I talk to them on the video, they're pussies. Okay, you. D- I say, hey, dude, you know, what did I say to hurt you? Did I say bitch to the wrong person? Okay, you know, I, d- I know I say my words clearly, okay? You are a simp, okay? And y'all guys don't even know what that word means. That that word, it's not just, okay, someone who's soft, okay? What it really, it really came from is from the pimps, okay? Okay, it means that a guy who's having sex with a female who's already been broken into, her hymen is gone, guys. You don't know anything about, uh, you know, the female vova or the genitalia down here. You don't know that. I actually met a hermaphrodite. I didn't know what the fuck. I I thought it was only two sexes. Yeah, there's more than two sexes, people. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. There are closed-minded people in the world who don't believe in other races or beings that's in this world. They just... Oh, we're the only race. We're the most, we're on the top. No, you're not on the top. You and we are not on the top, peoples. I think about 8 million people disappear every year. You don't know, you didn't hear about that? They disappear, okay? Who do you think is being eaten? Who do you think is eating humans? Okay, we're not on the top of the food chain, peoples. You just got to open your mind. Open your mind. But anyway, that's all I really got to say about that. I got to go pay my rent. And get my wife's ex, my ex wife's money in my pockets because I, you know, I've had to file her. I have to do everything. She's about to get kicked out, and she's scared, and, and you know, no one can help her. Okay, so sad. I know some stupid people. Like, oh, she's a good person, and she didn't do nothing wrong to you. You're just a psychopath. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for your kids. And I love when they say that shit. Negative energy feed. I feed off of that shit. If I call you a simp, the best thing you can say, why do you call me a simp? That is the best answer. Ask a question upon an ad hominem attack. If you feel hurt, you should not be on YouTube. You should not be on any platform. All right? Other than that, that's all we got to say about people traveling to overseas and expecting to find. Love is very hard to find, people. Love is like this. When you're young, at the age of 10 or 11, you'll see someone that you have a crush on. That is the only place where you'll find love when you're young. That's it. But when you're older, everyone is set in a certain, there's certain type of ways. And you have to learn those ways. And the things that since the man is supposed to be on the head, the woman who feels that they're equal is going to have a problem, especially if they're religious. So you're going to have a lot of complications when it comes down to fitting in pieces that doesn't belong. And I learned this at a young age. I thought that love was like supposed to be natural. No, it's a learned trait. You have to learn one another. Love is a form of respect. Nothing else. It's a trade thing. You have to give and take. When you're young, it's more innocent. And there's not a lot of standards with children, right? Okay, but when you get as an adult, you cannot find love. Well, there is about a 4.4% chance that you'll meet a kindred spirit, but that's that's not happening. And soulmates happen all the time, okay? Because women usually meet their soulmate and they fuck it up like all the time. And as I said before, if you want to know what a soulmate versus a twin flame and a kindred spirit is, I've already explained it to you very well right now, okay? Kindred spirits, you that's a spitting image reflection of yourself. That's the same person, okay? If you're fat, that person's fat. Okay? If your personality, your personality is matching that person by 90, 95%. That's your kindred spirit. You're not going to make, you're not going to find your kindred spirit, Soulmates is what you make them out to be. Now, you know how women are always looking at attractive men? It's that. That's all it is. Attraction. It has nothing to do with personality. Okay? It's how she can take advantage of you, and that's all it is. Because men don't even talk about soulmates. Okay? Men don't talk about soulmates. I wouldn't be my soulmate unless he's a beta. Okay? Most men are beta, though, but they don't talk about it, though. 
Okay, and twin flames is what everybody is. Everybody is a twin flame, especially when you know after you get past that initial stage of, of, of attraction, you, it, there's gonna be some opposite personalities, some strong inner energies that's gonna be like complementing things that you are not, and you should basically try to evolve into trying to liking your twin flame. I don't like that. I don't like. That. I don't get along with twin flames. I say if you're distant from me, you are not evolved. Either you're trying to learn from me or you 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 belong to the street. It's my way or the highway. I can learn some other things. I'm, I'm pretty open-minded. But there are just some t twin flames that are not compatible. Okay, you don't want to fight with a twin flame. Okay? See, I used to get confused about what the twin flame was. But anyway, now since you know what a twin flame is, it's the opposites of each other. And you know what a soulmate is. Everybody, most women meet their soulmate. But their true mate is usually lost in translation because they don't know what true love is. Most women and people in general, not just women, it's mostly women, don't know what true love is. Because if you're a female, you have to submit. That's a part of your, your duty, your biological. And the Bible tells you this, the Quran tells you this, and I'm not even religious. I just know that everybody's different. Men and women are not the same. This is a man's world. But babies are born by women, okay, right? So, I don't care what James Brown said. I'm, eh, okay. It'll be nothing without a woman. I say a man can biologically create robots and, and artificial intelligence and human incubators. A man can create that, and that and then that makes women obsolete, okay? What can women do? They're already using dildos and shit. So, what are you going to do about that, women? Okay, the best thing for you women to do is listen to the Bible. Listen to the Quran, even though it's a great evil for a greater good. Anyway, that's all I really got to say. I got to get out of here now. So, this video is mainly about all those things I've talked about. Kindred spirits, twin flames, okay, soulmates. And also, when you travel overseas, you travel overseas, stop thinking, okay, they love you. No, no. Get out of that lovey-dovey thing. It's a trade. I told my ex-wife this thing. I said, once you stop giving me this, I stop giving you this. That's what love is. It's a trade. Stop thinking, okay, this emotion, this puppy dog love, okay, this is the thing that when children go through, they go through puppy dog, teenagers go through puppy dog love, right? So you have to come out of that phase because you're drawn sexually to that opposite sex, okay, right? That's called puppy love. But once you get past that initial stage, there is complications that may occur eventually and usually the the person that's feminine is not going to submit to the more dominant side of the relationship because sometimes a female can be very dominant and masculine like a lot of black women are okay um other than that that's all i really gotta say guys i hope you learned something i talked about two topics in this video you know how to contact me I, i'm not gonna be i'm gonna repeat myself yeah i'll repeat myself look at the video down look at the description down below you scroll a little bit, you know, I know I put a lot there, but I'll fix it. It evolves. Yes, it evolves. But you know, ain't no man can be like me. Everybody's different. I keep saying this all the time. Everybody's different. Okay? Everybody's different. There's no two people alike. Men are more masculine, okay? And they're fixing things up, electronics and everything, talking to the aliens to make more new technology, while the women are going to leave that shit alone because they're too scared. Okay? It's a lot more Negroes in Africa than in America. <laughs> I'm not your average man. I'm not your peanut man. All unscripted. Peace.